Last night, it was 1.15 a.m. and I should have slept. I was so tired. And I was on X and I saw this thread, Cursor with Claude 3.5 Sonnet is a major shift. People keep building and sharing crazy use cases with it. 10 wild examples. And I had heard about Cursor recently and how crazy it is. And I'm like, oh, examples. Well, I'm I'm tired. I should sleep. But I got to see this. I got to see what people are building. And I looked at this thread and I was awestruck. There was a video of an eight-year-old girl using cursor to build a harry potter chatbot and she tells cursor what she wants cursor codes it she tests it out she's like no 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 iterate it like this change it like this change it like this and she actually records herself using loom using cursor and it's crazy and she's able to build this chatbot in a few minutes it was actually under 10 minutes (laughs) that she made this and there was another one this guy shigel week two of hacking with the cursor editor I created a Chrome extension for easy virtual clothing trials on any e-commerce store. It uses the latest colors model on Hugging Face. And he makes this Chrome extension for trying on clothes. And you upload pictures, you upload the models, and then you can see how they look together. And he has Sam Altman wearing different clothes and Elon Musk wearing different clothes. And I'm thinking, that's crazy. Then there's another eight-year-old who builds a video game. My eight-year-old son built a 3.js site with zero coding experience. He used Claude AI and let Cursor apply all the code for him. He actually made several projects, including two platformer games, a drawing app, an animation app, and an AI chat app, around two hours spent on each. I only helped him set up Cursor, Git, and Netlify. Code is a design tool and you don't need to code anymore. Another one was a background removal tool. It looks really good. Remove.bg does bottom of funnel SEO. Ranks for 9.8 thousand keywords. And it is a simple remove background app. And I have actually given it money. I learned about it through a friend. I don't know how he learned about it. But it works well enough. It works better than the native remove background tool within MacBooks. Where you can take an image, right click and remove the background. And this one works a bit better. So the images have clearer lines when you remove the background. And I actually gave money to remove.bg because if I really want an image that is high resolution with a background removed, I'll pay for that. I'll pay a few cents and that's how much it costs with remove.bg. And it's doing bottom of funnel SEO and it gets word of mouth and it's, but it's a simple remove background tool. And I bet you it's using technology that anybody could use. It might be using the same technology that this person who made the background removal tool with cursor is using. This guy goes just built and deployed a background removal tool in 20 minutes with cursor, Claude and Replit. Is this the ultimate AI stack? People are building so many things with cursor and Claude. Someone created a Mac app. This is crazy. Lots of people are creating Chrome extensions. Right now, you could learn this in a few days. Launch a startup on Product Hunt. Put it, put that tool. Oh my gosh, the opportunities are wild. Okay. You want to build links really fast. Here's what you do. Make some tool using cursor and Claude while it's hot right now. Make it really fast. Launch it on Product Hunt and actually say this was made with cursor. This was made entirely with AI. And that is part of the draw. Host it on your domain. It will get backlinks if it is good, if it is decent, and it probably will be. Or just try to make something useful. Forget the fact that you could leverage off the fact that cursor is hot right now because cursor is really hot. So you, let's say you're not even leveraging that and you just make something good and you launch it on product hunt. Then it can still get backlinks. It's a cool little SaaS tool. It's a micro SaaS. Micro software as a service. You can get backlinks like that. Launching micro SaaS used to cost $500 to several thousand dollars. Now this can be done for a few hundred bucks. You can do this yourself basically for free. Or you can hire somebody who has a little bit of coding experience, which will make it easier. And then they can do it in a few days. Say, what's your daily rate? You you could probably find people on Fiverr with not that much coding experience to do this. And then you can launch it on Product Hunt. You can launch it on Beta List. You will get links. Every time I launch on Product Hunt and Beta List, I notice a boosting to my tracked keywords. I notice that my tracked keywords, the keywords that I have been targeting, that I have bottom of funnel SEO landing pages up targeting, 
the keywords do better when I launch on Product Hunt, when I launch on Beta List. You can make tools relevant to certain niches that you just see. Maybe you see like someone in an article or someone in a blog. Maybe you're part of, maybe you're an active member of a certain type of engineering community and you've seen an engineering blog that you someone really wished this piece of SaaS existed. And then you go and make that SaaS and you make just the simplest, most bare bones version of it. And you say, hey, I made this. It's not perfect yet, but I'm trying. What do you think? If you like it, please share it. And then they're like, oh my God, this is a step in the right direction. I'm going to share it. And I've seen that myself. When I make things that people just say that they want, they will do that. They will share it on social media. They will share it in their blogs. The opportunity for backlinks right now. Or if you make something genuinely good, you can just do bottom of funnel SEO to it. You can do bottom of funnel SEO to it. You can create a brand for it on TikTok and Instagram Reels. And Instagram Reels is so freaking generous with attention right now. It is crazy how generous Instagram Reels is with attention. TikTok too. And you can do these things. You can create a brand. You can get links. You can also host it on your site if you have an existing brand and get links to your site and increase your domain authority like that. Viral stunts or things that attract backlinks are huge in SEO. I talk all the time about how SCORE did this viral stunt where they announced an app where you had to have a credit score of over 675. To, it was a dating app and you had to have a credit score of over 675 to use it. And if you didn't have a credit score of over 675, you couldn't be part of the dating app. And it got so much press and they shared how much press it got. It was called Neon Money Club and the app was called Score. And you can you can just search Neon Money Club Score and they share all their backlinks on the homepage for Neon Money Club Score. They say, look at all the press we got. And it's great press. And you can do that too. Or you can just make something generally good, put in pricing, bottom of funnel SEO, make a brand, build off it, build off it, iterate, iterate, and actually make something real. It's such an exciting time. It's crazy. Also, what I'm seeing, and I've read other people saying the same thing, is just because the ease now of making things, it's not completely there. Of course, it's not completely there, especially if you want to do something complex or even like mildly complex. I'm not going to say it's perfect. I'm not going to say it's easy. And I know that it's not. And you can say, Edward, it's not. And I will say, I agree with you. It's not, but it's getting easier. But just because the ease now of making things has gotten so much lower, it's so much easier. The differentiating point, it's marketing, it's branding, it's messaging, it's awareness. Even Peter Levels, he he has a merch store on, I think he, he has like peterlevels.com or something. I was just looking at this. I don't remember the exact domain. But he has a merch store and he has a bunch of clothes that say attention is everything or it's all attention. And it is. It's all attention. It's all marketing because so many people can build great things, but you have to have a good brand unless it's something truly revolutionary. And nowadays, I think a lot of the truly revolutionary things, they take getting through red tape and they take getting through regulation and getting through bureaucracy or it's really a lot of money to build. It actually requires a lot of funding to build. So unless it's like truly revolutionary, I was just having a conversation with somebody. I've been in Vilnius, Lithuania for the last two days, and I was having a conversation with somebody about this. And I said, unless it's something truly revolutionary, where it basically markets itself just because it's so different and hard to do. Figure, for example, which makes a humanoid robots or even Tesla's humanoid robots, something like that, takes so much money to pull off spaceships, so much money and regulation to pull off, all those things. They market themselves. But a lot of products nowadays, they're just variations on an existing idea. And that's fine. It's all marketing. It's marketing, it's branding, it's attention. It's knowing how to put the product in front of the people who actually want it or doing cool marketing and awareness around it. It's those types of things. And that's where we are right now. And if you can just be a knowledgeable marketer, a good marketer, it's crazy what you can do. It is crazy. The number one thing, don't abandon the brand because that is a mistake that everybody makes. And like a lot of people would be shocked how much things change after year one when sticking with a brand. And I see that myself because I've been sticking with this brand for so long, putting out a podcast every day, putting out a video on TikTok and Instagram every day. And what I'm seeing, the amount of people who come to me and the awareness that I have, it's crazy just because I stick with it, even on days where I don't want to do it. And I promise you, there are lots of days where I don't want to do it. Maybe I have a headache. Maybe I'm tired. I just don't feel like putting up a video and putting up a podcast and I make myself do it. Literally, okay, I'm going to confess something. Right before recording this, I was, I was like, oh, I don't want to make a podcast today. What am I going to do? I don't want to do it. All right. 
I'm going to get myself happy. I'm going to get myself excited. I forced a smile on my face. I'm like, I'm going to do this. It's going to be good. People are going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy sharing this stuff. It's going to be great. I'm just going to make it. I'm going to get it out. I'm going to do it. And I'm actually, now I feel really great. And I'm happy that I got to share this. But the point was, I'm just, I said, I'm going to make myself do it. And here I am making myself do it. And I wanted to share this because I think right now, if you're figuring out what you want to do, and maybe you have marketing experience, or maybe you're just, you don't have either. Maybe you don't have a lot of marketing experience, which is why you listen to the show. And you don't even have a product. And you're just trying to figure things out. You could play around with these tools for a couple of days, build MVPs, launch in the ways that I discuss ad nauseum on this podcast, and actually make something real and make a real brand. So the opportunities are crazy. I'm so excited for this. I think it's crazy. I talked about micro SaaS a few hundred episodes ago. Maybe it was 200 episodes ago, maybe 150 episodes ago. But I talked about micro SaaS and how excited I was by that concept as somebody who has done it before. All right, I'll share one story, actually. Okay, one story that I'm going to share, and we could have done better with this. But okay, the purpose is still the same. So a few months after the launch of ChatGPT, we made a tool called bestreasonswhy.com, and it's still up. And it gave it gives reasonable reasons to do literally anything, except now there's moderation in because... We couldn't get away with not having moderation. In. But at, when we launched, there was no moderation. People could write anything and it would give you reasons to do the most horrific acts because people could write anything. I made three videos on TikTok within 75 minutes. Three videos in 75 minutes. Put them all up. Video one got 2,000 views. Video three got 2,000 views. Video two got, I think, 67,000 views. And those 67,000 views turned into, let me tell you, I'm going to tell you how many users we got in a single day from that video. I actually have this as an article on my website. It's called Why Marketers Love TikTok. You can go to edwardsturm.com forward slash articles and just search Why Marketers Love TikTok. All my articles load on one page. I made my articles page like that and it's still SEO friendly. It's crazy. But the TikTok video in the middle, the one that got 67,000 views, it got 3,100 users to basically an AI experiment that we made in a few days, but now that could have been made with Cursor AI in like a few minutes, probably. This probably could have been made with Cursor AI, what we made then in, I think it was two days part time, but it was still, it still took two days. It could be made with Cursor AI. Just from what I've seen so far, I believe it could be made with Cursor in 10 minutes. And that got 3,100 users from a TikTok video that had 67,000 views. And imagine if that is hosted on your domain. You can get all this traffic to your domain and you can also use it as a lead magnet for other things. You can make it relevant to your brand and use it as a lead, lead magnet for a newsletter or something else or a product. Or you can make something genuinely useful and then people share it and put it in their blogs and it gets backlinks. Okay, I'm so hyped by this. I hope you're hyped too. That's what I wanted to share on episode 427 of my daily digital marketing show. Do this thing every day, just like I said. I'm feeling great. Hope you're feeling great. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.